As technological advancements in the aerospace sector continue, India is facing the pressing need to replace its fleet of Su-30 MKI fighter jets, despite planned upgrades. The Super Sukhoi, an enhancement designed to bring the Su-30 MKI closer to the capabilities of the Su-35S, will still have limitations in key areas like radar cross-section RCS, and infrared signature IRS. These limitations, combined with the rapid evolution of modern radars, surface-to-air missiles, and air-to-air -air missiles, underscore the importance of next-generation fighter jets that can sustain air superiority in the face of emerging threats. Fifth and sixth-generation aircraft are being developed to serve as advanced spies and snipers, integrating the latest technologies to outperform adversaries. While older generation jets may still play a supporting role, frontline fighters must feature cutting-edge stealth, advanced sensors, and sophisticated weaponry. Despite the Super Sukhoi upgrade, the Su-30 MKI will eventually become obsolete as adversaries deploy more advanced systems designed to counter fifth-generation aircraft. When an aircraft's engine or airframe no longer meets the demands of modern warfare, a generational shift in design and technology is necessary. Achieving this transition requires long-term, often decades-long, research and development efforts. Europe's choice to bypass the fifth generation and focus directly on sixth-generation fighter programs like the Future Combat Air System FCAS, and Global Combat Air Program GCAP, reflects the urgency of keeping pace with U.S. advancements in this domain. India's own development of the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMCA, is seen as a critical step toward producing a fifth-generation fighter. However, similar to the Light Combat Aircraft Program, progress on the AMCA has been slow, primarily due to the lack of suitable engines. Without dependable engines for the prototype phase, the project risks facing significant delays. India's decision to exit the PAC-FA or FGFA project with Russia, over inadequate technology transfer regarding the Su-57, highlights the challenges it faces in acquiring cutting-edge fighter technology. Although there is speculation about the possibility of procuring Su-57s as a temporary measure, this would not address India's long-term requirement for a domestically developed fifth or sixth generation fighter. Meanwhile, regional competitors are advancing rapidly in the field. China has already produced a large number of JAB-20 fighters and is expected to introduce derivatives of the JAB-31 or 35. South Korea's KF-21 Borame is another promising development, much like the evolution of the X-35 into the F-35. Even smaller nations like Sweden and Turkey are making strides in their own fighter programs, with Turkey's Khan fighter recently completing its first flight, and Sweden exploring its FLIG system 2020 before considering participation in GCAP or FCAS. Pakistan, supported by China, may also develop a one-engine fighter to replace its JF-17, further intensifying the regional arms race. In light of these developments, India must aim to develop at least a 5.5-generation fighter jet. This aircraft should possess sufficient thrust, internal space for advanced avionics, weaponry, and fuel, while being capable of handling the challenges of modern warfare. The AMCA, in its stealth configuration, might need to carry fewer weapons internally but could rely on a higher probability of kill with fewer beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles BVRAAMs, in addition to using its cannon in close combat scenarios. The slow progress in India's aerospace engine development remains a major bottleneck. However, there is potential for overcoming this challenge. India needs to allocate sufficient funds for engine development, whether through the Gas Turbine Research Establishment GTRE, joint ventures or imports. These engines are essential not only for the AMCA but also for the medium-weight fighter, the twin-engine deck-based fighter TEDBF, and other future advanced jet programs. While organizations like the Aeronautical Development Agency ADA, National Aerospace Laboratories NAL, and the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, are stretched with current projects, there is scope for collaboration with the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO. ISRO has made significant strides in material science and avionics, which could be leveraged to advance technologies such as variable cycle engines. Historically, Indian scientists and engineers have aspired to develop a homegrown fighter jet of the same caliber as those from Western nations. While achieving Western standards may take decades, steady and focused progress in research and development could help India close the gap. Looking ahead, India's focus must shift toward developing a fighter jet capable of meeting the demands of contemporary warfare. While the Super Sukhoi upgrade will extend the life of the Su-30 MKI fleet, 
The long-term goal should be to create a fighter of at least the 5.5 generation class. By harnessing domestic talent, collaborating with ISRO, and ensuring adequate funding and technology acquisition, India can position itself to maintain air superiority in the next generation of fighter aircraft. So friends, what do you think about the best options for India here? Should India collaborate with any nation regarding its much-required 6th generation fighter jet and buy 3 to 4 squadrons of a ready-made 5th generation jet as a stopgap? Or should India concentrate on its AMCA and TED-BF project, without thinking about the adversaries much? Do let us know what is your opinion. That's all from YKS team for now. Thank you very much for watching till here. If you like this video, then please hit the like and press the subscribe button so that you get all notifications whenever we post a video. Thank you very much.